Hi, I'm Steve Forte. I'm here with Bill Wolf. Bill, welcome to the program. How long have you been an MVP? About seven years, Steve. And what are you an MVP in? Well, right now I'm listed as Visual Basic. As am I. Uh, uh, and I, uh, it, I use both programming languages depending on client needs, but uh, I've actually done uh, basic work since about 1979. 1979. Remember then? I, I did. I was yeah. in high school. I think I was okay. in high school in 1979. <laughs> so, I, I came all the way up through uh, Quick Basic and uh, VB DOS and you know, been using Visual Basic since the early 90s. So. Well, I think you actually are a representation of the power of the community and the power of the uh, I'm sorry, the MVP program. Yes, I, I started uh, I started in user groups. Uh, I used to be a school teacher, um, high school and uh, and uh, middle school, and I got interested in computers because kids had you know remember there was a Commodore PET and things like that. So I I helped the kids with their computers doing science experiments, and that's what got me into the field. And then I, I very early on, one of my other teachers brought to me the uh, brought to my attention the Philadelphia Computer Society, which is one of the first user groups in the country. And I joined that about 1978. Okay. And I started running my first uh, SIG around 1980. It was the DOS SIG. Wow. <laughs> I thought I was running user groups for a long time. I've been running user groups since 1990. Yes, we had like a whole a whole user group meeting on changing the colors in the command prompt. It wow. was very exciting. Was that easy to do? It, it, not back then. Was there an API for that? <laughs> no, you needed a control characters a control for it. But yes. <laughs> well, you and I met. I was actually speaking at TechEd, I think, in 2002 or 2000. Around then. In Dallas. And you, I was giving a presentation. You just came up on stage. I was mobbed by people. And you just handed me your business card. And you said, I'm Bill. I'm an MVP. I want you to speak at my user group. You handed yep. me your business card. And that immediately, uh, all those people gave you credibility in my eyes. I put your business card away, and I came and I spoke at your user. And, and you did a great job. I, uh, you know, you this guy has more energy <laughs> than any you. speaker. <laughs> 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 but uh, no, we've uh, and we've run across each other at a lot of conferences since then. I, I've. Uh, other than doing user groups, I also do a lot of presenting myself. So I, I do VS Live and Mix and other so conferences like that. What are some of the like topics that. you present on? Uh, right now, uh, I've, I've been doing a lot of Silverlight. I actually have an art background, so I, that, that really fits in naturally uh, with my skills. Um, I'm very uh, uh, accomplished in SQL Server, so I actually worked with you and, and uh, one of your buddies, Andrew, on uh, the Microsoft SQL Server book for MS Press. And I did the reporting services and some of the other pieces of that. Um, so I did a lot of talking on uh, 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 BI-related topics uh, for SQL Server. I also do a lot of SharePoint work. And uh, so I, I, I do like architecture, solution architecture. So I can talk about uh, how different Microsoft products fit together and, and how you use .NET code to sort of tie all that. Excellent. And what do, you, what do you feel is like the next big thing coming down the pipe? And feel it's OK to say the iPhone. You say whatever it is you think. It doesn't have to be you know, WPF or Silverlight. Like what do you, if it is, that's perfectly OK. Um, the number one thing that we'll be talking about a year from now. Um, I'd actually stretch it out maybe one to three years. That's fine. Um, the Xbox was a phenomenal success from several angles. It's got it's got incredible graphics. You can use it for games, but you can also use it for business simulations. So you're starting to see people come out with that kind of software. Um, Xbox also has Xbox Live, which is one of the first uh, hugely successful um, community web. Uh, combinations, right. you know, and then and just like the Zune does the music and kind iTunes, of a web 2.0, right? And 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 I think Microsoft saw the success of that, and I think you're going to see that become what drives enterprise business. And and in the last year, Apple came out with the App Store, which is built on the same ideas as the as the Xbox uh, applications. And that's been hugely successful. And now every phone maker, including Microsoft, is going to have an app store. Right. Exactly. If you take the, uh, the concepts of what, what the Xbox can do graphically um, and what and the community, aspect. And what the community aspect of what uh, a, a web service, and, and Microsoft has Azure. They're putting together the building blocks to build something like that. I think what you're going to see in enterprises in two or three years is you're going to see a lot of cloud-based storage but very rich clients, and the clients are all going to be, I think, primarily Silverlight, 
some WPF, but you're also going to see the mobile so they'll devices. Communicate, they'll communicate over the wire to the cloud-based storage yep. and have a rich client. That's correct. And, and I just see all uh, applications going in that direction. And, and for anybody, uh, both my kids are artists, I see a lot of uh, opportunity for the uh, for experience. because it's going to transform, you know. You and I grew up making WinForm applications, right. and I, I did a rev. You, you probably did Paradox or Clarion or something <laughs> like that, and they all look the same. Yep. And and that's changing. Everything is turning, and it, it's going to look like video games. Right. When you go to work, it's going to be like playing well, a video the users game. users have the, that have grown up and are entering the workforce that grew up with this high graphic environment. Yes. These video games are going to demand that from business apps. And, and of course, Windows 7 is coming out with multi-touch, which, you know, you could say, well, Apple, you know, they invented that. It's like, we know that Apple didn't invent that. Right. They just commoditized it. Sure. A lot of the stuff that Apple does was invented in Xerox, but you know, but you know, Apple and Microsoft are the ones that can package this stuff. And, and I really see it's going to be touchscreen interfaces, and it's going to be in education, it's going to be in medicine, be any 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 business application. So well, we have time for one last question. The baseball season is five weeks old, and Johan Santana has given up two earned runs. He he, the side he is exceptional. He's he not he, human. he is <laughs> exceptional. He deserves the in the Cy Young, and uh, Beltran, you know, has a chance to be, you know, maybe the MVP. So you predicting the Mets will win the National League? East Absolutely over, you know, not, because really? it, you know, for <laughs> some reason the Mets just can't finish the deal. And they they have all of the money, and they 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 put together the package. They can't deliver in the end. As a diehard Mets fan, and if you come from if you agree. come from Philadelphia, it's all about the work ethic. <laughs> you screw up at the beginning. But I guarantee Howard's going to win the MV, the uh, RBI title again, just like he did the last two or three years. Sounds great. And, Looking uh, forward to that. To unfortunately, see if that's true we really need some pitchers. So if any of you can help with the pitching <laughs> problem, we can have an MVP pitcher. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bill, it's been a pleasure talking to All you. All right. <laughs> Take care. Enjoy Go the rest Phillies. Of the Go Mets. <laughs>